What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and we're getting into some more Mech Arena Basics. Been a little while since I've done one of these, but I wanna cover pilots. And yeah, we've had pilots for a little bit, so maybe I'm a little bit behind on this for some of you who've already kind of gotten used to it. But if you're new to the game, or if you just wanna learn some of the basic stuff about pilots, this should be a nice video for you. First off, we have 14 pilots currently in the game. And there are actually a couple more that seem like they're gonna be coming around soon, and I'm sure they're gonna be adding plenty more, but that is what we currently have in the game. All of these pilots have the potential to add massive benefits to your mech. And if you look at the one I have here, you'll see that it boosts you know, on the side there, the HP, the weapon damage, and then the specific damage for the artillery, right? That's the base stuff they do. And then there's also these implants that they can use. Not really gonna to get too much into implants yet for this video, that'll probably be a different basics video, but uh, just know that these pilots are a huge part of the game. They do a lot of boosting for your stuff, so you definitely want to get used to and use these, level them up, all that good stuff, all right? So um, we're going to get into that. Now, first of all, uh, these come in the progress path at about 4,000 XP. And you will, after you unlock pilots, instantly get red, the assault uh, rare pilot, and then a couple of implants for the auto cannon. These are pretty terrible implants. You can scrap them, but they just give you a couple for free to start, which is cool. So you can utilize that for scrap right away. So then after you have unlocked pilots and gotten red, you'll be able to go into your inventory and you'll be able to hit the pilot button and see all of the pilots right here and purchase any one of them with in-game currency, which is nice. Like here, Spark, I haven't gotten him. Um, so I can purchase him if I want. The rare pilots are the cheapest um, at only 40, uh, thousand credits and then your epics and your legendaries will cost eight coins so a bigger investment but the rare ones are are good for certain uses and helping you with your dailies and we'll talk about that in a little bit but they are not something that you want to invest into long term each pilot if you're going to go free to play can take months to build and then max out so you want to invest those months into ones that are going to be better for you provide more stats more benefits and those are your epics and your legendaries the legendaries are harder to attain they cost a little bit more almost 4,000 uh, eight coins to unlock but the epics are only about a thousand so that's not too bad and it's definitely worth getting some of these um, that will be beneficial for you I, I definitely like like G-Lock Rosa and Faye those are really good pilots really useful for a lot of people definitely ones that I would get okay all right um, so uh, when we get into the the, ma uh, the different pilots here each of them have a specific specialization, all right? Actually, I'll go back to this one. Um, as you see, when you look at them, they're broken up into groupings based on weapons. You have Red and Major under the Assault bracket. Then you have Samson under the Missile bracket. We'll soon have Nova under there as well. And Beam, you have Mako, Yeti, yada, 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 all right? Um, it is broken up that way to show what their innate skill or what weapons they specialize in. If you go over to the weapons category, they're broken up in the same way. All the assault stuff are put together and then all the missile ones are put together so it's easy to, to connect them. And they've actually made this easier. So if I click on one of these pilots here, um, and then you click on the innate skill, which is the assault damage over here on the left hand side. It will show you a list of all the weapons that are associated with it. So that's really nice in that they allow you to see all the weapons pretty easily that will be affected by this um, by this pilot. And in general, I will say you want to try to couple the weapons that are going to work for your pilot to get that extra boost of damage for your weapons, right? So each pilot will boost your HP and your general weapon damage, but then their innate skill will boost that specific weapon set. So if you can try to keep weapon sets with the pilots, you're gonna optimize that damage better, all right? So always try to pair that with your um, with your weapon set the right way, okay? Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about how all these upgrade. Actually, I'll go back to red here. So um, is, uh, just like you know your mechs and your weapons, each of these have a level upgrade system, seven incremental levels, and then a rank up, a star rank up, all right? So if I wanna bring red up to uh, star three, I have to get it to level seven, seven, seven slash seven, and then I can star up to level three. And it goes that way for each pilot. If I move over to major here, you can see that he's already at four star level seven. And to upgrade his rank, I need 3000 pilot marks, which is quite a bit. And you'll see as you go, it starts to get you know more expensive. And just that's the 
same thing as like mechs and weapons too. So you need to get more and more of these pilot marks. Currently, there's really only dailies that we can do to do that for free. So that's kind of a pain. And we'll talk about those dailies in a little bit. We'll go through them. Um, so hopefully they add other methods to get some of these pilot marks because otherwise the only other way you can do it is by buying like packs of them in the store with real money. Um, but you know, you definitely want to focus on doing your dailies for pilots every single day, finishing all of them to get as many pilot marks as you can each day. All right, because that's gonna be really helpful when you kind of bottleneck later on past four stars with all these guys. But that's also why you focus on the epics and the legendaries so you don't waste all those marks on the rares. All right, so um, we're gonna talk about the uh, different daily challenges now. Uh, so we'll go into our daily challenges and you'll see that uh, you have this pilot daily tab now after you unlock pilots, all right? Um, and this is where you're gonna do your dailies to get your pilot marks. You can earn 110 pilot marks per day. You wanna try to get all of those so that you can start to accrue them. And then, cause then you'll try to figure out how many days it takes to finish upgrading, you know, your next star ranking for whatever pilot that is, all right? You can take some time. So you wanna get as many as you can. Um, so these, uh, each of these are actually pretty easy to do similar to how your daily quests are not that difficult, um, but we'll go through them real quick. First of all, fight three battles with at least one pilot. As long as you put pilots on your mechs uh, and set them up, this, this one's really easy to do, all right? Not difficult at all. Acquire three implants. Um, this one you can actually do by going to the store. And if we go into the shop, there's gonna be a new tab up here, the pilots tab. Uh, and it has free implant crates and then different ones that you can buy, all right? You get two free implant crates, basic implants a day, uh, which could have a rare, an epic, or a legendary in there. The chance for legendary or epics are pretty low, and it's just like randomized, so you're definitely not guaranteed to get what you want, but you also have some options to buy some in the shop here, and you can refresh it down there in the bottom if you want to see other stuff, and legendaries can pop up in the shop. So this can be really good. Um, but again, I'm not going to get too far into implants for this one. We'll save that for another video. All right. But um, if we go back to that, uh, so that means that you can get two of the, I'll go back there. Okay. For acquire three implants, you can get two implants from your basic crate that cycles and then spend about 10,000 credits to get one of the rare ones in the shop to make sure you get those three. 10,000 isn't that bad, especially if it's one that you can use, but even if it's one you scrap, you may want to do that anyway. All right. Uh, dealing through 30,000 damage using a mech pair with a pilot. That one's really easy to do. All right. Uh, that one just plays some matches and you'll be able to do it. Acquire one basic implant crate in the shop. That, you know, is just like the one we were just talking about. Um, I'll actually go and open one just so you guys can see what that's like. Uh, and it'll complete one of the basic spots and then get this one. So here we go. This is my free for the day, a rare one, not, not too spectacular, but you'll see that it completes the basic crate from the shop and acquire one of the implants. And if I were to buy one of these, it'll complete, you know, that other one. And then once the, um, the next one cycles, nice. All right. When the next one cycles in, you know, less than an hour, I'll get the third one and we'll finish all that. All right. So pretty simple for the basics on that. Um, now, these last couple ones are where things get a little tricky and, and where you want to spend a little more time. The spawn mechs paired with rare uh, pilots five times and then the earn 4000 XP. So now I said that rares are not good to invest into overall, but rares are good to have to complete those dailies because you need to use five rare pilots in matches. You don't have to do it all in one match, but you could if you use all of your mechs and all of them had rare pilots, you could complete that in one match. Same thing for the 4,000 XP. If all of your pilots need XP on them, you can complete that in one match. But as long as you're using your rare pilots in your hangar uh, for doing some matches, like I have Torchlight in here now, this, as long as I use him in a battle, it would you know work as one rare pilot for that. So pretty easy to complete those within a few matches. Um, and then, uh, you know, the, the 4,000 XP one, I think is the one that people get tripped up on the most just because um, they don't get how it works. So let's talk about that. All right. So when you are in a match, whether you use a pilot or not, as long as they're in your hangar, each pilot in your hangar will get 800 XP by the end of the match. So technically speaking, if you have five pilots in your hangar in five in one match, you can get 4,000 XP, which is 
800 per each one times five. But a lot of people say, well, escape, I'm not completing it in one go. And that's likely because you have some that need to rank up. If you look at this one right here that I have, G-Lock is going from sub level one to sub level two. So his 800 XP will count toward this quest, but the rest of my pilots, their sub level is maxed out. And you can tell because they have the yellow arrow there, that means that they are maxed out and they're not gonna be able to do any more uh, of that XP. So that means the XP the game is trying to give them will not count for uh, completing that daily. So, um, you know, technically speaking, it's not a huge deal. You don't have to do it in one go, but you know, it's easier if you have more pilots that need XP to complete this a little bit faster. Ideally, you want to try to complete it in three matches just because you're already going to have to fight three to, to finish that pilot one. So if you can do it in three matches where you have two or three pilots that need XP in your hangar, all the more power to you. So what I generally recommend people do is get some of the rare pilots to not only start and get used to it before you can get epics, but to also have those sitting, you know, on the side and then pull them out just to complete your dailies and then put them back to the side when you're done so that they will be the ones who get the XP and they will be the ones um, if you need XP. I mean, if your epics need XP, definitely put them on those. But, um, you know, so that you can get some XP as well as complete these dailies to make sure that you get the pilot marks. All right. So that really covers the basic stuff of pilots. Really, you want to focus on getting the higher level ones, preferably the epics and then the legendaries if you can squeeze them out, um, and then do all your dailies to make sure you're getting those pilot marks and then just use them in battle. I didn't really say this, but if you want to quickly level up, guys, you can actually use eight coins down here. I have the option where I can force the upgrade level of Fey from level... 1-7 to 2-7 but since I'm going to be using her in battle it really is kind of a waste of eight coins unless you're someone that really needs to rank something up fast or you just want to cycle it in fast because you're going to rank them up or star rank them up anyway but generally you know you don't really need to do that um, they've made it pretty player friendly at least for these incremental levels even though at the high end it's going to take a long time with the pilot marks but overall, that is the general stuff with pilots, um, and uh, I hope that was helpful. I do plan to have more of a pilot's tips and tricks, and then go over the basics and stuff of implants as well. So I'll do a separate video for that. But either way, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.